It all started with a phone call to Nairobi City Stars CEO Patrick Corrill. The message was almost unbelievable. Do you deliver? Let's make a saba. And he was very specific. He said goalkeeper, defenders were tackled, defenders were weed, and a spiker. So we really started to also wanted to know how does these things happen because you know it has really diluted our league and you know we don't have football again because of, of these things. Between the hours of 4.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. there were many phone calls. The fixers demanding seven first team players from Nairobi City Stars. City Stars then decided to lay a trap with the help of the Kenya police. So what do you want me to do? And I just need you to avail the officers. So he asked me to do what? I told them since they're in a room, we need to capture these guys on camera. So the only way is that we need guys to go in there and fish them out. We are on Thika Road, headed towards Kasarani, but we'll be given the location of the exact place where the meeting is going to be. We don't know where it is, but we understand that the fixers are ready, the money is there, all they need is the players and agreement on how to fix the game. A location was finally given on Mirema Drive off Fika Road in Nairobi's busy Roisambu estate. The whistleblower was Festus Omukoto, a player who served a four-year ban for match fixing and is now an ambassador for the Kenya Players Welfare Association, Kefwa. He was once involved with the same fixers before he was busted and has since reformed. So we learned the approach in the PGA CEO of City Stars and the president. Kwa explain ni kwa hivi na hivi kuna tofauti na mwanafunzi na nataka tufanye hivi na hivi. Mimi ni kwa genius tio kitu juu. 